Hi, Cancer Ascendant. It's Michelle, your Practical Priestess here at Divinely Genuine. So we're here to do your Lunar Eclipse Tarot reading for July 27th, 2018. This is not for Cancer Sun or Moon. You'll need to Google your natal birth chart. Um, you can go to astro.com and um, enter your birth details. You will need the time of your birth to be able to get the ascendant sign. And a wheel like this will come up. It's called your natal birth chart, okay? The middle line is the ascendant and the descendant, where the sun was ascending and descending at the time of your birth. The ascendant sets up this entire chart of how um, all the astrology affects you personally. Okay, so for Cancer Ascendants, this lunar eclipse is happening in Aquarius, which for you guys is your eighth house. Let me just check that. So Cancer, Gemini, Taurus, Aries, Pisces, Aquarius. Yep. It's happening in your eighth house of um, hidden things, uh, the underworld, our shadows, secrets, sex is in this house, um, death and rebirth. Um, I don't know if I said the underworld. It's Scorpio and Pluto. Pluto rules this house. It's Scorpio's home. Uh, this is where you have um, Aquarius, though. It's happening at the lunar eclipse at four degrees. So when you Google your natal birth chart, if you have any planets um, from like zero to 10 degrees, that will be affecting you depending on which planet, as far as how, um, it'll be affecting you even more so um, during the eclipse, okay? So, all right, that's what we got for you guys. Let's go ahead, and I have communed with Spirit, and I'm ready to cut the deck. We're using the Tarot Cards by Bridget Reed and Colin Howard. The Healing Fairies by Doreen Virtue. And let's cut this deck for Cancer Ascendants. Now, now Lunar Eclipse are typically... They definitely will be felt as um, we feel what happens with the moon. We're directly, uh, our mind and emotions are directly influenced by the moon. The, the moon. <laughs> the moon. And um, eclipse is changing things for us, you know. Something is being eclipsed when the solar eclipse happens on August 11th. Um, will be gifted with something, um, but lunar eclipses tend to take away or shake things up a bit. Um, it may be in this area for you guys, or it will be in this area, so um, it can be literally transforming for you guys, as this is the, Pluto is the transformation house, okay? We're just doing a three card spread as usual with a healing uh, fairy card. Okay, and let's start. We've got a reversed page of cups, okay? I believe the page of cups represents pregnancy and reversed would be um, maybe a rebirth. Not a birth, but a rebirth. That would make sense. But don't quote me on it. Let's find the Page of Cups. All right, so the Page of Cups, this card stands for romance, deep feelings. Oh, yeah, the, the eighth house also is intimacy, deep feelings, as Scorpio goes very deep, okay? Uh, the card's stands for romance, deep feelings, and the inner life. In readings, the Page of Cups suggest that an opening may appear that's, that stirs your emotions, pulls at your heartstrings, or brings you great joy. When you see such a chain, chance, act on it. 
The page is rooted in a world of inner images, fantasy, and creative ideas. Super cool. So now I'd like to read. So the reverse of this suit of cups means jealousy, pain, rejection, excessive love or luxury, and preoccupation of oneself. Okay, so maybe with matters of deep intimacy, uh, sexual desires, there may be some transformation that happens. Um, Scorpios can be obsessive, and it does has an, it does uh, mention excessive love and jealousy. Um, because this card is reversed, it's hinting towards blocks in these areas of um, something pulling on your heartstrings, bringing you great joy. So it would then be, you know, uh, a block in that way. Or deep feelings in, in a life of romance. It could be then a uh, more of a longing for it. Sort of the opposite of that. Okay. Then we've got six of cups reversed. Another cup reversed. So again, jealousy, um, pain, rejection, excessive love of luxury and preoccupation occupation with oneself. So some of you might be experiencing rejection um, and being excessive on, you know, luxury and, and um, being preoccupied with yourself. You want to love yourself. You want to learn to love yourself in a healthy way, not too excessive or anything. Six of cards represents happy feelings coming from the past and innocence. A word with many shades of meaning. You can be innocent in the strictly legal sense of lack of guilt. There are lots of possibilities that can apply to the Six of Cups, depending on the situation. And again, this card is reversed, so it's going to lend toward, you know, blocks and feeling happy about past situations. Um, hmm. Okay. Lots of emotions with these cups. And I feel like it's lots, lots of, um, blocks getting to the happiness of these cards being that they're reversed okay we've got the two of swords upright so you may be longing and wanting to you know connect with someone on an intimate level and for whatever reason there's some blocks in the way during this time the two of wands indicates that we are in charge of the way that our life is unfolding. The Two of Wands does not rule out the occasional pleasant surprise or obstacle, but it does allow us to fulfill our needs and chase our destiny. Fulfill our needs and chase our destiny. So though you know, there's some restrictive in the ways of how we would like to feel emotionally during this lunar eclipse um, with feelings of intimacy and sexual desires and going deep. We are reminded that um, we can fulfill our needs and chase our destiny. And we may be pleasantly surprised at this time. And it's a reminder that we're in charge of the way things are unfolding. Okay. Ultimately, we do get to make choices with faded times as well. We have the healing card, which is raising your standards. 
So it seems to me that someone may have let us down emotionally and these feelings of wanting to be happy and feel feelings of love and intimacy are not being returned. They're being restricted um, as much as we're longing for it. There's, um, it's not in the destined path and um, we're being told to raise our standards because there's something better. Okay, so let's see. Raising your standards, Cancer Ascendant. Don't settle for less than your dreams. Once you make the commitment to manifest an improved situation, the universe will find a way to deliver it to you. Deep down, you know what type of life you're meant to live. By drawing this card, you're being reminded that you deserve and can manifest any situation you wish. The fairies ask you to stop making negative affirmations based on scarcity thinking, such as I can't afford this or I can never accomplish that. Instead, they ask you to raise your standards to the level that all children of God deserve. Write down a list of your heart's true desires and review the list daily with a feeling of faith and gratitude. Emotions that convert your wishes into reality. Then make a special commitment to expect the best for yourself. The commitment is your cell's order that creates miracles in your life. As your dreams start to come true, be sure to graciously accept good into your life. Know that you deserve life's richest rewards. We all do. Affirmation, I deserve and expect the best in life. I hold high standards for myself. Okay, and that's right. And so we use astrology and tarot for guidance. And um, it is needed to do so. They are going to faintly send us towards these ultimate paths for our greatest evolution. But at the same time, we live in this universe where we are practicing the law of attraction and our mind is the most powerful thing we can use or learn to use to our advantage. Um, as everything that's ever been created starts with a thought and what we think we become. So think it, visualize it, dream of it, and um, allow the universe to work for you thereafter. All right, Cancer Ascendants, I wish you the best. Uh, lunar Eclipse, stay strong. I love you guys. Don't forget that even though these emotions are being restricted and not returned the way you'd like, destiny is at work. You have a choice. And the divine is saying to raise your standards because you deserve the best and visualize and dream that life. All right, guys. Love y'all. Peace.